Jeremy Holmes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'm a woodworker, and I've always been interested in new and old woodworking techniques and melding the two to make um, new work. And uh, the sculptures are um, a lot of part about the space, um, the material, and working with that space and collaborating in different uh, unique found architecture. And this is a hardwood sculpture. It's all um, bent wood lamination. Um, the ends are attached end to end. And I'm able to freeform bend these in different spaces. Um, I'm really interested in trying to push this history of wood in a new way and find um, new spaces. Um, when I bring this in, I roll it in wheels, um, and I'm able to expand it in different spaces. And the room and I are interacting with each other. And I'm able to um, have the room tell me what to do, but then also the mat material tell me what to do, and find a way to create a new uh, site-specific installation for viewers to come into and be a part of. I'm very interested in social uh, interactions, people having conversations, and the artwork being a part of the people that are in it, and then the, the um, people in it a part of the artwork. Because I feel that a lot of work um, is very viewer and art, and I was interested in combining the two to, to create a new and un unexpected um, spaces. Lighting is very important in my work as, as well. I think that uh, the line vocabulary, the lighting, um, the ma material really accepts light well, and um, it's been a, a big part of my work recently to, uh, to interact those as well. Um, so this is a project called Quarter Mile. It's a quarter mile long piece of wood that I install in different spaces, and um, every, every time I'm able to do it differently. Uh, I first install uh, one part of it, and I'm able to build off that previous part to um, be able to have this improv installation that um, is, is for me uh, an experience in itself, um, and then to have people to come into it. So at one point, I was really interested in trying to get uh, sculpture in public spaces where I knew a lot of people were going to be at. I thought that um, it was a really nice layer to add to different events. So this is a project at a music event where I knew that 10,000 people were going to be there, and I wanted to show them uh, what, what else can be involved in these events, and I thought it was a great add to music and to culture, because the work is very musical. Um, and adding lighting again to be able to bring a different level at night and to be able to uh, illuminate um, in inspiration and in, in, um, in addition to you know, the, the whole happening that's going on. So in trying to figure out different spaces for the work in different places, and I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is and, um, and trying to find different structures to hang from. This is at a ski resort, and we took off the chairlift cables, and we were able to build these big structures. And I, I thought it was a really inspirational setting to try to find new ways to, to bring this work to different places. And once again, adding light to it to, um, yeah, just to have another layer at night. I, th I thought that the ribbons, the way they work together and the lighting, um, they can really pick up uh, both sides of the way the shapes are. And in this work, I'm really working a lot with negative space um, and, and, the, and the constant um, you know, twists and torques and things that I'm, I'm developing really all on site. There's a little planning, but most of it is done um, at, at the event itself. So um, this is hardwood locust. Uh, it's a, um, all the natural bend of the wood. It's cold bending, um, and it's all bolted together. And all of these uh, sculptures are very short um, period of time. They're very temporary. Um, days and days takes to planning, to installing. And uh, that temporary feel, I feel, is a lot like a musician would come to a show and, and, and host and, and put on what he's doing. Um, so uh, in, in thinking more about um, you know, where, where sculptures can be, I thought that uh, vent tents were a really interesting way to fill that void. And it almost felt like a gallery space, um, a white, empty, um, kind of beautiful place to uh, host different types of, of artwork. Um, and in the engineering and the way I build some of these, uh, every time it's different. Um, it's never quite the same, and I'm always learning how to do it differently. Um, a lot of the sculptures I have to build on the ground and hoist up because I want the public to be able to be underneath them to see them diff from different angles. And here's a shot of me doing a tent uh, project where I'm uh, engineered it to build it on the ground so I can see the different angles. And, um, and as people are walking around these and, and, and the community is there, I feel it's very important for them to view it 
um, in all different angles. And, and as they're walking around, everything changes, and that's hard for me to build them in a way because I want things to be uh, uniform, beautiful, um, and have that impact that things are solid. Um, so here uh, is a project directly working with music and showing um, how to add another layer to the community and to the event um, where people come and enjoy. Um, so now, uh, in some projects, and you can see I work in the same style, uh, the same body of work I'm sharing with you, um, it, it's starting to turn into get projects into public spaces permanently where people can um, stumble upon them in their day-to-day -day life. And, uh, and I think that's a really exciting thing for me to be able to know that they're out there, know that people are experiencing them every day. And, uh, and I'm excited about a project coming up where I get to design a new sculpture for this new 42-story high-rise in Manhattan. And I think it's just great to be able to um, really influence people daily um, and have them view beautiful things. And I think the design and, uh, and what we look at every day is very important. And I'm trying to add to that. And ideally, I would really like to have my work um, in large hubs, where uh, in airports, where people can really uh, are always kind of wandering and, and stumbling, and it's just a very interesting setting. And I feel like the large voids that architects build, um, I'm able to fill those. Besides the larger work, I've been I worked on about a series of 100 of these small sculptures, and I think this is a different type of um, curiosity that I'm working with. Uh, to um, the sculptures are soaked in water and abstractly bent and every, you know, it's very different every time. And for me, it's the same way as the large work uh, in the way that it, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. It's very aggressive and it's a lot of labor and it's a lot of hands-on. Um, and this is one piece that's attached. Uh, this is the same piece, just uh, photos pasted together to show you the different angles of these pieces and how they can work. Um, and the next work that I'm going to be working on is more wall work. I think it's important to have installations, uh, sculptures, wall work, drawings. And um, I'm excited about this um, kind of future projects coming up where I'm able to do design two-dimensional two sculptures. Uh, thank you.